Hi guys, I am set right now with Abigail, Mandy and Jody, and they are UK's newest girl band, Kiss Off. One. <laughs> Question one. How did the band come together? I came together. Um, me and Mandy were already together. So that's Abigail and Mandy. And then we just put an ad on to Facebook, and that's when Jodie heard about it, and she came to audition. Then that was about a year and a half ago. So yeah. Now we are pissed off. Yeah. Yes. Easy as that. We've been together yeah. ever since. It just, yeah. just worked. Yeah. And that was it. So what were you guys doing before? Um, well, for me, literally just before I joined the group, uh, like literally about three days before <laughs> I come to audition, I'd stepped off the planks. I'd just done a, a season out in Cyprus as a live singer. So I was out in Cyprus um, doing live singing out there, and then literally when I got home, didn't know what to do with my life, saw Mandy's ads, went for it, and then I've, then I've been in the group ever since. So yeah, I was just was doing a bit of solo work before, but I was gonna go in to do like um, the cruise ships and stuff like that, rather than original material, but this is the direction it took me in, so that's what I was doing. And I was working on my solo career, so just songwriting in the studio, um, just getting my songs together, really. Yeah. Been in lots of bands. Um, used to sing at school and all that kind of stuff and um, just always worked and lots of songwriting and do a lot of art and stuff like that so just been in lots of bands band after band after band really so yeah. is this the best band? Is this oh this the is the best this band is the best one. this is the creme de la creme yes, band this is sweet because I actually asked her exactly the same question oh. the other yeah. day you asked me I last said, night yeah last night it was so I forget <laughs> when I asked her yeah it was last night I said is this the best one for you and she was like yes yes <laughs> You're just being nice. No, no, I'm not. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't, I don't often do nice. Like, it's fun there. Like, I'll just. Yeah, there's no point. You know. <laughs> so yeah, this is the best band. Okay, so the name Kiss Off is kind of original, kind of strange. Where did it come from? Who, who thought of it? <laughs> no, we don't actually know, right? So literally, oh. <laughs> this is how it happened. We originally, as the girls mentioned, they used to be in a band before and when I joined the the name that it was was Donny Mix um, but the new kind of feel to the group when it new come together it was not that wasn't what it was supposed to be so we 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 said we needed to get a new name to fit with what we was kind of going with and Misfit we had just recorded we was getting ready to do the music video for it and we was kind of like it's very different kind of style it needs to be something you know Edgy, different edgy, yeah. and so we couldn't side like arguing sleepless nights all that sort of rubbish and then weeks um, and weeks, weeks and literally before. weeks yeah. and then in the end there was about six people all together because we were at the time working at a studio where the song comes together and literally everyone who was there even people we didn't even know <laughs> like look you're, you're in the studio you sit down all of us just sat down wrote down all our favourite names stuck it into a hat um, Mandy called it out and I? I think it was you oh okay yeah, I think I did. I probably did actually. Yeah. Up, and um, she pulled it out and, <laughs> it, said, <laughs> and, and uh, it said kiss up on it. And we was like, yeah, that, that sounds works. sick. Yeah. And uh, we said, who who come up with it? And nobody, no one nobody, would come forward. nobody would come forward and said it. So we, somebody else, uh, we never actually, yeah. <laughs> and we'll never know who it actually was. But yeah, so it come from a hat. <laughs> that is how the name come about. Oh. <laughs> and it was meant to be. Did it make a nice handwriting anyway? Either. No. no. Weird. It was really weird. weird. The girls have got Could something to tell. You. Mm. It was me. No, it wasn't. She's such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> she wishes. I actually thought you were serious then. Oh, I know. I didn't. Oh, you can so. tell. Of course she's not. Oh, I'm lying. Another one. <laughs> <Neither one. laughs> okay, so, um, when you were growing up, what kind of, who did you listen to? Who, who influenced you? And Me, I grew up with Whitney Houston, actually. Like, always singing, I would always love you. <laughs> like, singing competitions. Um, so mine's been like Whitney Houston, um, Aretha Franklin, Etta James, like all the big soul singers from back in the day, really. Okay. I actually grew up on country music. Um, because, I mean, I started out at performing arts school, so I'd always been brought up in musical theatre. I've done a lot of West End shows. Um, and I started having singing lessons from like the age of 11 and someone told me, my singing teacher at the time told me that I had a country voice so then I ended up being brought up listening to country and that's how I kind of got my sound, kind of found my direction through country music so people like um, Trisha Yearwood, Mindy McCready, um, 
Gareth Brooks, um, you know, uh, what's her name? I can't remember it now. Um, oh, I can't, I'm really even listening to them in such a long time now. But then they're, they're sort of they're the sort of country singer that I listen to. And then like my main kind of influence was Pink, and still is Pink. And she's kind of who I've been listening to literally from about the age of. 13, 14, and she's been my inspiration and kind of <coughs> guidance <coughs> since I was like young. So, where did mine come from? Mine, yeah, my yeah, my um, mum's always played loads of records, all different stuff from the Shake and Stevens to um, Bass City Rollers to uh, just bands and all sorts of stuff, glam rock, all the kind of stuff from like the 70s and 80s that she used to listen to. Um, and I've always listened to everything that's in the charts, really. Always, I've always liked dance music from a young age. Um, always liked sort of bands and stuff. So Madonna, Kylie Minogue used to like when I was little. Um, that's it, really. I've just always liked everything. So have you used those influences in your music? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely. Pink more so. I think she's kind of a very big and the dance bits and I think the feeling, the soul of Aretha and, and Whitney, we try to bring to, to our music. I've always loved Whitney Houston. Yeah, well. I mean yeah. she's she's an absolute legend. Michael Jackson was a massive influence to me actually. Yeah, I was going to say you yeah. didn't mention Michael. Yeah. Michael, you know, still it still gets me. It's hard to talk about him. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what about Whitney? Is it hard to talk about her? <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, no, no, I'm feeling really bad. I thought that she was gone as well. Oh. <laughs> Swiftly moving oh, on. Okay. All right, right. Whitney. All right, <laughs> <laughs> such a fucking crackhead. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm not crackhead. Like, <laughs> I, I don't even have wheat. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> right. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Okay. A single misfit. Mm -hmm. um, I describe it as an anthem for teenagers. Um, is that where you want to go? Do you want to sing music that inspires people? A hundred percent. Yeah, totally. Or, or, every one of our songs has got a message. And it's either, you know, be true to yourself or stand up for yourself or be who you want to be. It's always got that message of it doesn't matter whether you're a misfit, it doesn't matter if you're this, don't worry about what people say, just just, just be, just who be you true, are. Just, yeah. be, just go with what your heart says. It's always got that kind of message. Yeah. So it's always to inspire young people, old people, any, any age really. And I think the biggest thing for us as well is, is there's a lot of, the, well there's not a lot, I would say there's a couple of solo artists that do it very, very well, you know, mm. people like Lady Gaga, you know, Jessie J, there's a lot of solo artists who represent that message very, very well, who we look up to yeah. as, you know, good guidance, but there's not a lot of girl bands, you know, that can turn around and and have the same sort of message, you know, girl, there hasn't been a girl band in, you know, this, this millennium that has been able to inspire as other solo artists have done recently, so I think that's where it's kind of a good thing for us, because we're three individual completely different people so it's kind of like having three solo individual artists blended to one to put out the same message mm. where we all come from different aspects of how we perceive it so that's why it's, it's exactly what we're looking to do and, and also with all the magazines that are out there we know it's gonna like magazines is a big influence on how young kids today act and see themselves so we want it yeah make it really out there to be like it's okay to be who you are like I'm sitting here eating you're... Burger King guys yeah <laughs> munching on that <laughs> <laughs> like those bitches are airbrushed so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah just like be who you are and just really shouting about that really I think that's important yeah. did you guys write the song or Misfit's the only yeah. one we didn't we didn't write. Um, it's written for us. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we are kind of crazy and misfit. Yeah. Yeah. As you yeah. probably tell already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that we don't care, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Misfit's the only one we didn't write. Um, all the, all the other songs that were coming up coming that are quite similar to them, we've all written completely ourselves. But um, Misfit is a great song anyway, regardless. Yeah. So. If it's a great song, it's a great song. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so were you, were you misfits at school? Oh, I was. I totally was a misfit. I was just like, I was always called the mad one. I was always the mad one or the clown or 
um, the mental one, or I was the one that went and dyed my hair black, or I was the one that I did, would just pretend I had an invisible friend. I was always doing something strange. <laughs> I just, I just oh, haven't grown out of that then. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I think I was just, I think, and I'm, I'm going to admit this, I think I've just always been a little bit of an attention seeker. So I was always. Oh, yes. hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> Right now, yeah. I can move on. Oh. I can actually be better yeah. for this, can't I? Afterwards, no, so I've always just, yeah, I've always done something to cause a scene, really. Yeah, I she does it now. She ain't going out of that. Yeah. I don't even, I, I think I've just done it so I've just, I do it naturally as well. I don't think, right, I'm gonna do this to, to, co to cause, I just naturally am doing something just, just so that like, I'm. Causing some sort of scene where I'm because it's just fun. I just want to have fun all the time. So yeah. I'm just a bit silly. I don't have no humility. Really <laughs> no, she has no shame. <laughs> have no shame. shame. <laughs> have no shame at all. Well, <laughs> I don't think I was. I was kind of a misfit, but not. I was. I'm the sort of personality where I'm quite quiet, but then I'll come out with like strange one-liners and get everyone laughing. But at school, I had. I've got like learning difficulties so it's always hard for me at school to like get on with my like studying and all of that so I guess in that way but I come yeah I, I did really well on my digital C's and stuff so I was just working hard and just like singing really just as long as you work hard and you succeed so that's, that's what matters really. That's yeah, me. I was um, I was definitely a misfit. I got I got bullied um, a lot at school and I had like a bit of a hard time until I found until I found my group of misfits like I got bullied and I had to leave school and then I went to performing arts school in London and that's where I found my misfits it was literally like going into school and it was like a because I went to performing arts school and being there seeing like you know kids you know like younger than me and we had gay people there we had lesb lesbians there we had goths we had you know urban we had boys who did ballet but should have been playing football you know things like that like it was literally just a group of us that had all been bullied that got put into one school to find the direction of life and that's where I finally found myself to not be a misfit but I yeah, I was a misfit because I got bullied and I wasn't the same as everyone else. I don't look the same, don't sound the same. And so, yeah, that's definitely for me. I was growing up, yeah. But eventually I did not come out on top as a top misfit. But yeah. I can join your gang then. I was Yay! a misfit too. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> join everyone into it. Yeah. Everyone's a misfit in their own way. Yeah. It's just finding which, which one you are. Okay, so any misfits who are at school now, do you have any words of advice for them? Um, I okay, you won't be at school forever, yeah. so try and enjoy it if you can. If you can't, just don't try and change yourself no. to fit in. Number one, it's yeah, never don't, gonna, don't, don't only make it worse. And only also, worse. fact is, I think just for a lot of us is, People who are misfits at school, literally, although it may feel like it is the end of the world, I can promise and bet my life on it that things will get better. Because at, normally the people who are almost so not the misfits at school, they will always end up being the person who ends up at the bottom in the end. It's, you know never ever feel like it's going to be like that yeah. forever because as soon as you leave school you go into a much bigger world so and you know in, in life in general even if you're an adult and you feel like you're a misfit at work or you're a misfit at uni you know there's much more bigger things out there so never ever feel like it's the end because yeah. promise I promise you from experience it's not that's that's what my advice would be and you can turn your misfit qualities into something positive yeah. yeah you can like you know if but there's a film called The Secret, which talks about a gay man that gets um, uh, kind of bullied at work for being gay, and he's really negative about it, and he wants to be a stand-up comedian. Then he turned, and then he, he gets like heckled on stage, and people throw things at him, throw fruit at him on stage, and he feels really bad. And, every, and then he feels like people on the street are laughing at him because he's gay and stuff like that. But in the end, he starts thinking positive about it, and just starts thinking, Do you know what, I really want to be a stand-up comedian. And then he's, he starts celebrating that he's gay. So when he's on stage, he's like, you know, I'm a gay man, and I don't care. And as soon as he has confidence about being gay, it all goes away. Because people then start to inspire to it. So yeah. 
I mm. suppose we're about just be confident with who you are. Yeah, be confident with who you are, and people will, will be drawn to you like a magnet. And this if helped you, you guys out. Yes, totally. we're very, very big. Yeah, I mean, with me and Mandy especially, and, and Abigail as well, we're very big on the law of attraction and the secret and stuff like that, and positive thinking and our kind of life motto and life being is just positive energy. Just always, always try and be as positive as you can because yes. there's always a reason behind everything and everything in your life has a meaning to reach and it is a part of your story. So that's what we try to preach, well not preach, but try and, you know, express as much just as we just can. Just a good message. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you said earlier about that there was no girl bands who gave out a good message. You guys are a bit different in your sound. You kind of defy the stereotype, you know, sounds like girls are loud, sugar babies, you're a bit more edgy, rocky. Yeah. Um, why, have you, why have you decided to We stray wanted away? to find something in the market that was different, you know. Um, I don't think there's been a girl band out there that's doing that rocky urban edge. And like, just like the question before, like we're just being who we are. We're all three totally different people. Like yeah. our inspirations are all three different, and I think we just come together just to give that sound, to give a different sound, and we, we think it works for us. Yeah. And there's definitely a, ma a market in there yeah. for yeah. Kiss Off. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. We had to find something that we all liked. Yeah. And don't don't get us wrong. It took a long time. You know? <laughs> I mean, we made other. Tracks, I mean, yeah. yeah, we made a couple of other tracks. I mean, if you look back, I mean, it, if you see what we've been trying to do for the past year and a half it's been you know trying to listen to different songs and it's not what we've been doing and it's only been this year that we've finally conquered our sound our image and now we've finally got exactly who we are uh, as a group and um, and it's just that yeah at the, I mean personally just how we see it you know in the industry there's not any girl band that's doing pop rock and so with, with an, like an urban edge and that's what we're trying to bring out there and we think that it's it's definitely a marketable, marketable place and yeah. we're gonna definitely smash it up yeah. that's for sure <laughs> and we also like just referring to other girl bands they've all got something that is good about them that I would say yeah that's good about them that's good about them but it's just not us it's yeah. just not me mm. so you know you could look at the Saturdays pretty girls they look great you know they come out of poppy catchy tracks that you know some you know, young girls and boys or you know some, some people might really like that you know and um but that's that's too poppy for me you know sort of thing and then there's there's other you know like the spice girls girl power i love girl power you know but i would never dress like spice girls do you know what i mean so there's all there's something good about every artist out there it's just about who are you yeah you know you and if you copy you're just another saturday exactly. you're just another sugar babe you're just another, we've never tried to copy anyone yeah. we always try and find it's all we about find, how you feel. Yeah, we it's find the qualities feel. in the bands that are out there and we've then put our own twist on it to hopefully find something new. That's what we're hoping the public and you know people will see from us. We're hoping that they see what we see, which is we are still a girl band, we still sing, we still harmonise like all the other girl groups out there, but we're just doing it in a different way. Our way. Our way. <laughs> Kiss up, Our way or the highway. That's it. <laughs> Kiss up, wait. So, do you share harmonies on the songs? Or oh, yeah. Is there oh, yeah. Lead singer? Take, Are you take. the Whitney of the group? <laughs> Try to be. Try to be. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she is. That'll make she her is. happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We Reform change it up me. on every single song. It never really follows a pattern. We no, change yeah. it up on every song. Because every we song know we a formula that works. I mean, there is like sometimes on like on choruses, we know what would definitely work without putting any effort in. Like we might say like Jody take the lead in the chorus, Abigail behind me on low. That always works for that. That's the easy way. But we don't always take the easy way. We think you know you do that, but you do that. But we just change it up. We like to time. change it up. Definitely. It yeah. depends on the song. Like yeah, yeah. Like, like like Mandy says, when there's a song, we can either listen to it straight away and be like yeah, easy, bang bang you, bang. You, you, you. Or we can listen to a song no. hmm. and be like, um, actually I don't know if you might sound better here. So it literally depends on the song because where our sound is not, you know, like it's not the same sound like you'll hear eventually once we you know when we release our new songs you'll hear that the sound although it's still very rocky every sound is different mm. <laughs> so when you listen to it you're going to get something different on every one so oh, yeah. yeah and that's how it is for us it's not the same like it doesn't sound the same we'll listen to the album and think yeah that's kiss off you'll know it straight away but you wouldn't be able to differentiate there's something in there for everyone yeah but you wouldn't be able to differentiate which song was which mm. so, so this is what we can expect from the album that's yeah. right so yes when are we looking for an album release? 
we're, we're not still working yeah on we're still working album. on it we're not going to be releasing it anything um for at least a couple of months but we will be putting it up onto our soundcloud and you can um play it on facebook and stuff like that so you'll be able to reach it on them um, online yeah um, but it won't be and nothing will be released yet you won't be able to download it you can just listen yeah yeah but yeah hopefully we're hoping to have um it all pretty much finished at the beginning of october so a couple more weeks um and uh you can hear what we've been up to Okay, here's an interesting <laughs> question then. Okay, so most girl groups, they're renowned for cattiness. Do you guys, are you? We're not catty. We're not no, cat. we're not catty. We're not catty. We do well. argue though, we no. do argue. Oh God, yeah. We're very blunt. We yeah, yeah that, that's what that's <laughs> all about. <laughs> we are, not hold back We are all. so rooted. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't take it. Yeah. We can't yeah. take it, we don't really. You, we're, if you can't we're take honest, it, don't give it. No, <laughs> we don't yeah. Really. yeah, yeah, we're we're all honest. We don't hold back. Yeah, very blunt. And you know what? I appreciate that <laughs> because I I can't stand someone that's quiet and holding things back or being yeah. funny or talking behind your back or being jealous or being something. Yeah. I can't deal with those kind of people. Yeah. it's got to be either in your face, lad, and I know where I am with you, yeah. or you're not really in my circle. Like. And then if, if like someone takes it a bit a step too far, then we go like, hey, hold on a minute, like, like, you know what I mean? Much, don't talk to like, me like that. Sort of yeah. thing. and then it's, and yeah. it's over in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> the relationship that we have is basically the relationship you have with your brothers and sisters. You it is so, with your brothers and sisters, like well, especially for me. Uh, me and my me and my brothers have it out. Like <laughs> if, I'm, if we're arguing, we're just like you know. But obviously, we still love each other. We still do anything with, for each other. And after about ten minutes, the feud's over. And that's exactly yeah. the same with us. Like we say it straight up. Like exactly we're just how it is. It's just passion yeah. all the time. It's like you know you feel strongly about something, and it's just like you just got to say it. Because it's always for the best of the group. It's always for the best of the group every yeah. time. Every single time. So yeah, so no we, we don't, we don't, we, yeah, we don't, no, we don't say catchy. it to be. We never no. say things to be horrible no. it's because it's for the good of the group yeah. or the good of that person at the time yeah. so if there is an argument who, who's the mediator who's the one who says come down whoever's the guys. other person not arguing <laughs> <laughs> to be honest we've never had as, we've never had we've never had an argument we've never had an argument that no. bad for um for us to turn around hold up it's literally just been like all right, sharp now. Yeah, yeah. Like, come yeah. now, okay. I'm like, all right, then <laughs> yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Like, like, take it a bit too far now. All oh, right. <laughs> so there'll be no someone getting kicked out of the group anytime. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no up changes. <laughs> no. Okay. No, that that kind of thing only happens to people when you've got a little while or, or you're being rude behind it, or you're talking behind each yeah. other's backs. But we're too honest for each other to it, fall it gets, out. It just it's gets dealt much. with in the, in the ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. You let things fester, and then you're just gonna like. That's yeah. when things break apart. Yeah. Mm. As that happens in all relationships. It happens with, you know, just normal girl boy relationships when they don't talk to each other. All fesses up, you have a big blowout argument, sometimes they, they go separate ways. But if you communication is key to life. <laughs> it is. Very I'm sure, well I need to said. that a little bit more myself <laughs> with my own boyfriend, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Mm. She's taking a bit far on me I know. Now. I know. Therapy. I know. <laughs> because she's having coffee. <laughs> I've had tea. I'm a bit hyperactive. Stop it. I have to, I, all I can live on is water and bananas, really. Oh, really? As soon as I have caffeine or wheat or dairy or sugar. Oh, yes, yeah, there's no sugar so in bananas. Sensitive. You better move on to the next question. Okay. Yeah. Right. Here's some more trivial questions. So, who takes the longest to get ready? Mandy. Mandy. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? I have very long hair and it, it's. You so mad. Mad. Oh. No. My girl, yeah. Oh, my girl. Don't even. <laughs> my girl, right? Mandy. My girl. She takes ages to do her hair, ages to do makeup. Takes about an hour to try and stick on one set of eyelash. <laughs> Not even eyelashes. Not even both. I'm talking about like one per eye. Yeah, that's how, that. She takes ages to get ready. Like me and me and Abs are like, ready to to go, and I'm yeah. like, where where's Mandy? Like she's been going go back downstairs. I'm like, man, are you alright? She's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, I'm just trying to still stick my eyelash on. Eyelashes is so hard. And I'm like, what are you doing? Enough to do. Mandy, they just start yeah. hanging off my eye and trying to stick it back on, still hanging and stuff. It's stressful. I hate, I hate putting eyelashes on, and it stresses me out. It can take me an hour to do eyelashes when I was actually ready for the temp, like, for like 15 minutes in the makeup. So it'll take you really quick, except for the it's, eyelashes. It's things like eyelashes, or no, it's, no, it's not like things like eyelashes. <laughs> it, with my hair, when I wash my hair, that's how you go. When I'm washing my hair, it's very porous. It soaks up all the water. It takes me about five minutes to even wet my hair. It takes about ten minutes to get the soap out of my hair. It takes me about five minutes to get conditioner in the hair. And it takes me about ten minutes to get conditioner out of the hair. 
and then it takes me about 15 minutes to dry the hair. And it takes about 10 minutes to brush the hair because it doesn't like being wet. Okay. I'm so glad I'm not a girl there. Like, yeah. yeah. No, you're just glad you're not Mandy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still with like hair like this. I ain't hair. got no hair. I'm cool. It seems like if I That's what I mean. If I had short hair, my life would be so much easier. But don't sue me. I say we cut it off. I say we don't. No. No, we're not cutting so that. So who's the no. quickest to get ready? Me. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I'm done in one second. Well, not one second, but I have. I'm a planner. I have to plan what I'm wearing. It's really That's probably an OCD. I yeah, me, no, I do the same. I have to plan what I'm wearing, otherwise I literally will be three hours. Yeah, I don't plan anything. That's why I'm always like in a, in a kerfuffle. Don't know what's going. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I wearing? Like, oh, I'm, I don't plan. It's a big, big issue actually. Yeah. Okay. It is. I'm it just is. neutral. Just neutral. Yeah, I'm just cool. Okay. <laughs> is this when you start having arguments then? No, 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 I think no, 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 no. I oh, leave. Oh, no, I know I take long. Yeah. So. Well, okay, we'll give you an example. We was in the studio the other day and we was um, working on this ballad, and obviously ballads are quite close to your heart. Yeah. Like, and we all have had probably different experiences, and we we're trying to all get our experiences onto paper. So it's when, in that instance, we're like, oh no, I think the melody should go like this, or just like little emotions like that. Like yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it was yeah. emotional. There's an emotional argument going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's turned out for the best. Yeah. yeah. It's an amazing song, so it's yeah. all good. Yeah. It's good. Who's your dream collaboration? Who would you like to sing with, duet with? I think we have individual ones, to yeah. be honest. Because like, I think we all have different... Because literally, like we said, we're not, we're not really a group, if that makes sense. Mm. Because we all, literally, we all listen to different music, we all wear different things. We all have different styles, we all have different backgrounds, we all listen to different music, we're completely different, but we have make a sound. So my personal one for me is I'd love to do a collaboration with Pink. Like it would be my like literally my my whole world if I was to do a collaboration with her. That's for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I'm saying Stevie Wonder. Well. No, I just asked if Stevie Wonder was Stevie alive. Stevie Wonder is one of mine. Stevie Wonder is one of mine. Stevie Wonder is alive. Yeah. yeah. Probably, Michael okay. Gone and Amy Winehouse. Well, probably like Stevie Wonder, Beyonce would be amazing. I think Stevie Wonder as well. Actually, yeah. that's one of mine. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I think I, as it's my first, my first ever favorite song I, like I loved was like I just called to say I love you, Stevie Wonder. Sean Paul. I just think this is him. Uh, I think as a group, we said that we'd like uh, for no, no. no. For, for a group. Well, we say that. For a group, we said we'd like to collab as a group. We'd like to collab with um, Labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. David Guetta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Calvin Harris. Yeah. And who else was there? Calvin Harris. Yeah. Calvin Harris. David Guetta. Jay Z. Labyrinth. Everybody. Anyone really. that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, 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 they were our top three. Ed Sheeran. Oh yeah, Ed Sheeran. Was, yeah. Yeah, they were our, they they were our top four of who we'd like to collaborate with as a group. Yeah. And individually, that's who we'd like to go with. Yeah. So. Okay. So what's your guys' favourite movies? Oh, I've got Bodyguard, um, Dirty Dancing. Okay, one each, one each. Yeah. One well, each. I don't know if I could pick one. You much have to. Yeah, yeah, pick two. one. Oh, I'm going to go for um, Labyrinth. Movie. Or, no, actually, no, I'll take you I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Moonwalker, <laughs> Michael okay. Jackson. Oh, really? Yeah, love that. I've never seen that. Actually. Oh, my God, you need to watch it. It's the most amazing thing. Okay, mine is The Notebook. It's romantic. I'm so into romance. It's ridiculous. I heard a few people cry at that. Oh, cry? that feels yes, too much entertainment. Like yeah, anyone who watches it, it so will good. cry their eyes out. So good. I love romance, even though no one romances me. Uh, <laughs> I like the thought of it anyway. Uh, <laughs> I cannot physically pick one, so I'm gonna have to give you a top five. So. Okay. No one. No, I I've can't just done pick one. You have to. What's the top of your five? Okay, well, top five. No, I don't have. No, a, I literally top, don't have a top of my five. five. You have to, because I've just, just had to do it. Because I've got loads. Yeah, come on. I don't think I can actually pick. I actually genuinely cannot. No, just one. Beating the beast. <laughs> this is the, this is the situation because I'm a huge, huge Disney fan. Like literally, I could be Disney so if Disney I wanted films. to be. But you know, there's a Disney film that you watch, and that's that's what you watch. Like literally every afternoon, and then I have a film that I would watch every evening. 
So I don't have one. It's you talk about Beauty and the Beast more than the others. Well, okay. it'd, no, it'd be Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Save Last Dance, and he's not that into you. So she got a four in anyway, didn't four. she? Yeah, she got yeah. a four. Well, yeah. Well. And Legends of the Fall. No, no more. Like and Forrest Gump. No I more! Like, like the Navigator. No Literally, more. I'm a huge, huge film fan. I know. I know all of the best <laughs> films that you would not believe. I know them all. I know every word. I love off movies. Swiftly moving on. Okay. I'll give you that. That's my top four. I'll give right. you them one. Okay. I can't pick I think one. Even though you wanted there, one. Yeah, I know, I know, but I, I picked pick one. Even though you one. <laughs> what was the one after Say the Last Dance? What was the other one? Uh, he's not that into you. You've talked about that a hell of a lot. Oh, it's one. deep. It's deep. It's okay. deep film. Yeah. Oh. I've heard you talk about that one more than Oh, the God, it's too much. It's too much. Oh. That film. Yeah, that's way too much. I say you know because she's getting my deep. I can't do Oh, it's too much. Oh, okay. Okay, too wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So what's the one thing that you can't live without? Can't live without? Oh, my hair straight, my hair products, hair straighteners. I think my hair's just too much to control. I would have to. That would be it. <laughs> if I was on a desert island, yeah, but then nobody would be around, so I wouldn't care. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this in as in like girl products type? Question? No, just, whatever. just anything. Uh, anything. Whatever. Don't. What can't you live without? My dogs. You will be living without your dogs soon, though. No, wait, wait, because I'm I'm going to be doing phone Skype with them. That's ridiculous. Are they going to see you? Um, you really? Video calling. Yeah, well, they, they can because when when I'm ringing my mum, she's obviously going to give it to the dogs. Are they going to respond? When well, are they just going to look at the camera? All oh, right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to look at it. The girls don't understand that I have a connection with like I'm massive, massive, massive dog. And the thing I cannot live without is my dogs. Like in my life, like I love my dogs to pieces. Like my dogs, hundred percent. <laughs> Mandy, I think yours would be like yours would be your phone or something. Yours would be your phone. No, with how much you how much you promote on it? I oh, know, no. Yeah, I know. People I think would be like herbal tea. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about herbal tea. Clothes. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy being naked. Not, yeah. I'm happy being naked. She's like gaga on that, born this way and all that. Born, born naked. You don't, you don't get born with clothes. That's a problem. Um. I don't. I could live without everything apart from food and water. I'm pretty pure like that. Food and water. There you okay. go. So right. bore, a bit boring. Okay, so last question. <laughs> Is there any romance in your lives? No. 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 <laughs> I just said I want to be uh, romance, but I'm not in my life. <laughs> no one loves me. No. No one wants me. Where's your pizza? I'm too um, a bit picky. I live with my boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, so there's lots of romance there when I'm there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, yeah. we'd love, obviously love a lot more, but I'm with these girls more than I am with him. him. <laughs> I live with him. <laughs> yeah. So, man is the only yeah. person who has romance. Me and Abs ride solo. We ride, <laughs> on, so we ride on the solo path. Solo. There'll yeah. be someone out there anyway. I know yeah. what I, I, so. I, know what I what, couldn't live can. without. Music. Music. I couldn't live without music. I might as well die. Yeah. So yeah, you can put that for me. You could live without each other though. But it's music again, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's my life at the minute. I could live without these two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to hear the last one to say! <laughs> dogs over us. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely Bye. be deep with my dogs. And you know what? Probably Gellard. And my friends, actually. Dogs. Music. <laughs> Music. Hair straighteners. Hair straighteners. Dogs. Yeah, but if I'm on my own, I'm not going to need no hair straighteners. No. I'm gonna you don't need, have to convince me. I'm going to need to do some water, aren't I? <laughs> but, Girls, but the, obviously... You're right, going to end up eating your dogs. No. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> this, is where, this is where you guys just don't think outside the box. Like, clearly, everyone can't live without food and water. That's just common sense, right? So why are you being... I just don't understand. Not, right, out of the box. You've so got you've food. Got your food. You've Obviously, got your water, you've got your if bed. you're on a desert island, you're gonna drink from the sea. You're no, gonna you go in, you're gonna, and you're gonna, and you're gonna go. You can pick it up. Yeah, and you go in there and you grab that fish that's swimming in there, and you cook it on the stove. Yeah, we'd grab it. So you got food and water. So what would you not? Where would you get a stove from on a desert? You did the rocks. Come on, guys. I know this stuff. There's a stove under the tree. Anyway, so food and water is there. So obviously it's something else, and I would not be able to live without my dogs or. My friends, but I'm gonna say dogs first. But okay. So yours is music. Mm. So now what? Are you sticking with straighteners? No, because I'm gonna be on my own, so I don't care. Just well, then, what, what's it gonna be then? Happy after about. Um, 
like, I don't know, like, I think yours would be clothes. Or Maybe clothes. Yeah, because she's a bit of a fashion guru. Mr. Guru. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Can't you tell? No, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> You're more fashionable than these two. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> 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 I love that. <laughs> okay, so is there one last thing you want to say to your parents? Um, be who you want to be. Oh, God. What? Cheesy. Well, that's what we were born. <laughs> yeah, that's what Misfit says. Exactly. No. That's cheesy. Bloody songs. No, I just think you can contact us anytime on our uh, social media. You know, we're, ha we're not, we're not, we're not all stuck up and like, oh no, we're not going to talk to you. So, be, you know, don't be a stranger. Like, you know, send us a tweet message. You know, contact yeah. us on Facebook. Um, ask us to wish you happy birthday when it's your birthday. Um, we Message to the fans, we're down to earth, please chat to us if you want to. Right, we're, we're not going to ignore you, promise. Yeah. That's, That's a good, good message. Yeah. yeah. And make sure you listen out for our new material. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Yay! Okay. Alright, so thank you very much, Kiss Off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>